now, it, now it's running the purge CO2. I've got an air compressor in here. Uh -huh. Because the, the caustic solution doesn't work in a CO2 environment. So it purges the CO2 for like 45 seconds. Oh, okay. you had to get rid of the CO2 before you can put in, um, what's your... Put the caustic. Yeah, there are, there are certain cleaning solutions. Is that your cleaning solution right there? That, yeah, that's not ideal, but it's a, it's a, <laughs> it's mostly, it's a line cleaner. Okay. But, I mean, it's a, it's a good caustic anyways. Uh -huh. um, uh, there are caustics that work in a CO2 environment. So you got the CO2 out. So now that the CO2 is out, um, it's running, a, a rinsing the shell. With water? With, yeah, so I've got this kind of reclaimed, I've got four tanks here. Uh, I've got sanitizer, like a kind of gray, gray water rinse water, clean rinse water, and then hot caustic. Uh, and then is that the sort of order it goes in? No. Uh, backwards. No, order. yeah, kind of backwards. So you can go with the clean water last. Yeah, so it's rinse. So right now it's rinsing the, the, the right now it's on rinsing the stem with this dirty water. Uh, then blows it out to make sure it's all gone. Now it's going to rinse it with the hot caustic. Mm. And it has to go, there are, there are two different ways you have to clean the inside of the keg. There's the, there's the, they're designed to be, you know, turned upside down and water spewed up through the stem. But you have to rinse the shell with water of sufficient velocity to hit the top and cascade down the outside. Uh -huh. But you also have to come in with water at a slower velocity to dribble down the outside of the stem uh -huh. that goes down at the bottom of the keg, because otherwise that part will never get. Oh, right, right. So, I've, I've got two different valves, one of which runs it through a long piece of skinny tubing to slow it down.